Are you seeing a difference with the kids? Uh -huh. Absolutely. Doing Absolutely. And you know where I see the difference is not so much just in these smaller exercises every day, but then when they have to apply them to the bigger problem solving, that's when they really come into play because now they can look at a number like 15 or 18 and they can separate it out into 10 and 5. They get how they can decompose, like mm -hmm. they understand, even these little firsties, you know? And to watch them like first when we started doing like, you know, I don't know, 5 plus 2, to be able, you know, just to understand 5 and 2 and not have to go back and count every single one every time. Yeah. You still have kids that do that, especially like that. Yeah. You just, yeah. Yeah. It's like, how do you get through? But he works one on one, and he's doing all those. How many are you know? Just the ten frames, or just the car, hand cards. Just trying to recognize this is the number five. But he still sometimes has to go back. Yeah. You know, even for a kid. So he has like some serious struggling issues. But yeah. he, But now you have like tools to work with him. Yes. Which is different, absolutely different than before. Yeah. Which is different than before because before so we were just doing counters, you know, and counters don't always work for every kid. Yeah. And then there were number lines, but the number lines they grow dependent on those number lines. So it's like giving them the tools that they can use. Yeah. The ten frame cards really help at the beginning. Nice. We did a lot of that. The and ones where they actually put their own. Put the Put the counter in mm -hmm. the ten frame. Mm -hmm. That really helped build that ten understanding, because nice. then they could say, "I see the ten frame," you know, yeah. in my it's here, not yeah, internalize. Yeah, like I can see the ten frame, but this tool is always with them. So I like a lot of the hand stuff too, because mm -hmm. they don't always have those ten frames, you know, right. if they're not in the classroom. Right. It's it's good. Like it's funny when parents come in to help and they see the kids decomposing. They're like, how do they know how to do this? And I said, it's just a different way of thinking. It's like it, it just is different. Yeah. You know, and that like eight plus five. Like I didn't break it down, but I was thinking, you know, I should have shown them. I can do it tomorrow. But since we're working on this goal five, but doing the five plus three plus five more, and then showing them the ten with the number representation rather than the hands, you know, mm -hmm. so doing, doing that tomorrow, to instead of showing them the hand cards tomorrow, maybe show them, okay, here we have eight plus five, let's break the eight down into the, let's think about those hand cards again, and maybe use those hand cards to do that transfer. Yes. Yeah, you can connect the two. Yeah. Connect the visual with the, the yeah. representation with and the then, abstract, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a good connection. Uh -huh. Right, right. And it's a build, like, because we just were recognizing how many, and then, you know, mystery introduced a subtraction game. Today we did both, and then the, tomorrow. Yeah. So it's a now, build. your students seem, it's a good build. The, the students that I talked to seem like they're really pretty fluent with their subtraction. Okay. They didn't seem afraid of the subtraction. No. Um, because we, like you said, like, I think last year when I first introduced, I was always introducing addition first and then subtraction next. I mean, I'm teaching for 18 years, so... It's always been that way. In the last couple of years, it's like you interchange them and it makes it mm -hmm. so much better because now they're relating those facts, you know? So it's, yeah, using them in conjunction with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it helps okay. them get it, you know? And now it's funny because you bring subtraction into it and they're using addition to figure out their subtraction, which is, that, that's neat, you know? Because once you start thinking about it that way, it's so easy. Yeah. For the kids. So then, and so it was good because we just, you know, the kids know how to work together. They, yeah. they know how to, ex, you know, explain their thoughts things. to each other. All those behavior management things that yeah. take, it takes time. And it's nice to start early because when you get things that are more difficult that, that have to build, yeah. it's that scaffold. You already have that under layer.